Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we'll be taking a look at all the rides, presentations and attractions found at SeaWorld Orlando for 2024. Stick around until the end of the video for some hot tips for visiting the park, as well as a sneak peek at what is coming to SeaWorld Orlando in the near future. You enter the park via the port of entry that features all the guest services, stroller and wheelchair rentals, and a variety of shopping locations, including the main SeaWorld store where you can buy a variety of merchandise throughout the day. You will also be able to grab a coffee and snack from the park's on-site Starbucks location. As with all my guides, we will head around the park clockwise, which takes us to the next area, Sea of Shallows. Along with some great attractions, you'll also be able to see and learn about stingrays, dolphins, fins and manatees. As you enter the land, you will first come to Manta, the huge steel flying roller coaster that was added to the park in 2009. The amazingly themed queue area lets you view 60 different aquatic species, including over 300 rays, which of course is where the attraction got its name. The coaster features four inversions, as well as a cool effect that makes it look like the riders skim the water. Next is the SeaWorld Rescue Center, where you can learn how SeaWorld helps sick, injured, and and orphaned animals in this special exhibit. This has two naturalistic habitats that includes manatees and several species of freshwater fish, as well as more than 1,500 saltwater fish and around a dozen sea turtles. It's great to learn about how SeaWorld helps care for the natural world. Also newly added is the Coral Rescue Center, where you can view hundreds of different coral colonies, including some threatened species. The final attraction in Sea of Shallows is Dolphin Adventures, a spectacular presentation of bottlenose dolphins in the iconic Dolphin Theatre. The show explores the dolphins' natural behaviours and the traits that they've evolved to help survive and thrive. It's a great show that provides a lot of education about these amazing mammals. The next area you will come to is the Sea of Legends that features two amazing attractions. First is Journey to Atlantis, a water coaster with dark ride elements. It takes you on an adventure through the mythical city of Atlantis with many turns, drops and splashdowns as it switches between the water track and traditional roller coaster track. Expect to get wet on this amazing ride. Next was the first major coaster added to the park, Kraken. Opening in 2000, it was once the tallest and longest roller coaster in Florida. This flawless coaster features seven inversions and reaches a top speed of 65 miles per hour and is still one of the most thrilling rides in the park. Right next door is the smallest land, Sea of Ice, that is currently going through a small transformation as the construction of a brand new attraction is still underway. Stick around until the end of the video for a little look at the new coaster called Penguin Trek, opening soon. This will utilize the theming and penguin exhibit from the former dark ride Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. As you head back to the central lake, you will come to the next area, Sea of Delight, which is home to two shows and one of the oldest attractions in the park, Sky Tower. This is the tallest observation tower in Florida and gives amazing views of SeaWorld and other areas surrounding the park from the double-decker rotating pod. Make sure you bring your camera to get some great shots of the Orlando skyline. Next is the fun sea lion and otter spotlight. This features Clyde and Seymour, a pair of California sea lions, as well as otters and a walrus, performing various skills in this entertaining presentation that is great fun for all the family. At the back of the park is the next area, Sea of Mystery. First up is Mako, a hypercoaster that is currently the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the Orlando area. It is named after the fastest species of shark and reaches a height of 200 meters, a maximum speed of 73 miles per hour, and features a track length of 1,450 meters. Like many other hypercoasters, it doesn't feature any inversions, but don't be mistaken, this is still one of the most thrilling coasters in Orlando and consistently gets voted in the top 20 coasters in the world. Next is the River Rapids ride, Infinity Falls. This currently holds the world record for tallest drop on any River Rapids ride and is themed to the conservation of water. Make sure you bring your raincoat for this one as you will likely get wet, which makes it a great way to cool down on a hot day. For a more relaxing attraction, you can try the Flamingo Paddle Boats, which can be rented in this area and will allow you to travel all around the park's central lake and a unique way to see the beautiful scenery around SeaWorld. This costs an extra $6 per person for a 20-minute ride. 
The next area is the child-friendly Sesame Street Land. Currently celebrating their fifth anniversary, this is the perfect place for the younger guests to explore and meet their favourite characters from the popular and long-running television series. Attractions include the family coaster Super Grover's Boxcar Derby. This is a nice little coaster and is the perfect way to introduce the little ones to thrill rides while enjoying the theming to everyone's favourite clumsy superhero. Elmo's Choo Choo Train is the small train ride that weaves between the beautiful flowers and bugs on display also, don't forget to look out for the most adorable Little Red Muppet. Next is Abby's Flower Tower, a spinning Samba Tower ride which lifts guests 30 feet into the air while taking you round and round in one of the eight themed flower pots. This is a great way to get a nice view of Sesame Street Land. If you enjoy going up and down, then check out Cookie Drop, a small drop tower ride themed to the Cookie Monster. Slimy Slider is a rock and tug ride that spins guests around while a pumping soundtrack adds to the fun. This is of course themed to Oscar the Grouch's pet worm Slimy. For fans of Big Bird, you can go check out Big Bird Twirl and Whirl, a small teacup style attraction that spins guests around the huge 8 foot yellow Muppet. There are two different playgrounds in the land. Rosita's Harmony Hills has slides, musical instruments and other interactive elements and Rubber Ducky Waterworks is a water play area with lots of different ways to get wet with Ernie's favourite bath toy. Finally, the old sea carousel was rethemed in 2021 to match the Sesame Street theme and was renamed Sunny Day Carousel. You will have the chance to ride Muppet style horses and look out for your favourite characters. Also, throughout the day, you will have plenty of chances to meet all the Sesame Street characters at the special meet and greet areas. On select dates, you can also enjoy the fantastic Sesame Street Party Parade, which features floats with all your favourite characters, including Elmo, Big Bird and friends. From now until April 28th, other special shows and characters have been added to the area for Sesame Street Land's 5th birthday celebration. We now move on to the final area of the park, Sea of Power. This is home to the most popular presentation in the park, Orca Encounter. Held in the Shamu Stadium, the show focuses on behaviours and techniques that the killer whales use in their natural settings. Similar to the other shows in the park, this is a great educational and entertaining presentation that is filled with fun details. For an extra charge, you will also be able to head to the Orca Underwater Viewing Area, take part in the Killer Whale Tour, or even even dine with orcas in their special dining experience. Next is the steel launched coaster Icebreaker. Opening in 2022, this was the sixth coaster to be added to SeaWorld Orlando and features four launches as well as taking riders backwards and forwards before falling backwards again. It's a great alternative to the other more thrilling coasters in the park. Next is Wild Arctic, an indoor walkthrough attraction specializing in animals from the North Pole, including beluga whales and walruses. Near the entrance of the park is the final attraction in Sea of Power, the new pipeline, the Surf Coaster. Opening in 2023, this steel launched coaster has special standing restraints and surfboard ride cars that makes this one of the most unique experiences at SeaWorld. It reaches the height of 110 meters and a top speed of 60 miles an hour with one wave curve inversion. This is truly a surf of a lifetime. Also, near the entrance of the park, you will see the Bayside Stadium, which hosts events and shows throughout the year in SeaWorld's various festivals and seasonal offerings. The events include the Seven Seas Food Festival from February 2nd until May 19th, Bands Brew and Barbecue on weekends during July and August, the family-friendly daytime Halloween event called Spooktacular runs from August 31st until November 3rd, and the popular separately ticketed event Howl Scream will be scaring visitors from September 6th till November 2nd. Wrapping up the year is the Christmas celebration from November 8th until January 2nd, 2025. My hot tips for visiting the park is arrive early and make use of a full day at the park as it's usually open from 9am until 10pm so you can get a lot done if you plan accordingly. If you're visiting during a busier time, consider purchasing their Quick Queue Unlimited upgrade as it allows you to skip the lines on all the major attractions and starts from just $14.99 per visitor. And always check the official SeaWorld website for a full entertainment schedule and if any attractions are closed on the day of your visit. We end this guide with a little look into the near future as the new attraction Penguin Trek is just about to open. This brand new family friendly steel 
launch coaster takes you on a snowmobile adventure through Antarctica. With an exciting indoor and outdoor section, this will be a great addition to the park's already stellar coaster lineup. At the end of the ride, you'll head straight into the amazing penguin exhibit to view and learn about these amazing birds. So that wraps up all the attractions offered at SeaWorld Orlando. If you are planning on visiting the park, consider helping this channel out by using my affiliate link for the official SeaWorld website. You can currently make a $30 saving on single day tickets and even buy an annual pass for as little as $139. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to support the channel then consider subscribing for free or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. If you want to know more about other parks in Central Florida then check out these guides here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.